everybody. I hope that you guys are having a good night. Um, I wanted to jump on here real quick. Um, I don't know how long of a stream this is going to be. I'm still having internet issues. Uh, but we do have a technician that's coming out tomorrow. We keep post, like, uh, instead of canceling it, we push it back because they will call and tell us that, oh, we've done this and it's fixed now and you won't have an issue now and blah, blah, blah. And, and undoubtedly it's not fixed and we end up having an issue. So we just kept the appointment for tomorrow. They're going to come and hopefully figure out why the hell it's doing what it does. Um, but I did see that Shani had done another stream that I hadn't covered yet. So it's not a very long one. I figured I would try to come on here, jump on, cover it. And if my internet is cooperating, maybe we'll watch some more stuff. If it's not, then I'll probably just end it from there. But hopefully we can make it through this one video. Um, so let me pull it up really quick. This is from on Drama Clip Dumps. Or drama clip dump, not dumps. And um, the title of it of Shani's stream was "I've got things to do with my life." So here we go. My internet provider is Mediacom, and they fucking suck. Worst worst cable company I've ever dealt with, ever. And AT and T was pretty bad, Jesse. I had them one time too, and they were pretty bad. Mediacom is worse. I don't know if it's just the one in my area, like maybe other people have had a better experience, but mine fucking, it's just, there's constantly something going on usually. And we've had to like have technicians come out many times and they'll fix it. And then in like six months, something else is happening again. And it's just a mess. Happy St. Patrick's Day, I guess. So... I'm not really waiting because I got things to do like with my what? life. What? Like what? Sit on the couch? But an idiot commented, said, I thought you went in the Navy when you were 17. There's no way you could have had a knee injury and gotten into the Navy. Well, maybe that. Oh, my God, Shani. Hold up. I got a pot, like, let me... I thought you went in the Navy when you were 17. Look at that. Damn, Shani. That poor tooth. It's hanging on by a thread. And that face and the double ch Like, Shani, you need to start taking care of yourself. I don't know if you're being honest about the stuff that you're eating and that you're losing weight. I hope that you are being honest because if you're not, you really are going downhill. And I'm telling you, like, you want to, like, act like you have cancer, act like you're dying all the time. One day, it's going to be true. And you're going to kick yourself in the ass for not trying to do something about it when you could. There's no way you could have had a knee injury and gotten into the Navy. Well, maybe that was after I was kicked out of the Navy. I got the fucking injury when I was 17. There you go. Did you ever think wow they're 17 is one year long oh there must be you know several things that could have happened but she has to lie and then they were like i thought it was 19 you got your injury no and if i said that that was a mistake in my mm -hmm. brain being stupid that would be my fault because i may have mentioned that and said it was 19 that would be my fault because i thought it was 19 i was no. wrong i was wrong it was at 17 that you got that injury i was we'll have to uh, do a little investigating on that i have a feeling we can find exactly where she said some shit like that and compare and we'll see exactly what what she had to say and we can compare what her parents had to say because I've seen what they're talking about where, where her dad says that she had an underage guy in his house in the bed with him, with her. And he came home and caught them there. And Shani was of age and the guy wasn't of age. 
power. And they were like, I thought you were doing it. You got the knee injury in Boulder. Yeah, I was White Rock. You know, the Colorado River. I said Boulder. It's it. I know. I they're, said Boulder. They're idiots. You know, the Colorado River goes through Boulder, right? You know that, right? You probably didn't, but... <laughs> oh, well, thanks, Shani. Thank you for being so smart and giving us your infinite wisdom. What would we do without Shani? I mean, really, what would we do? Yeah. Trolls have to do this thing where it's like, always I'm lying for some reason about my life. You Why are! would you? We've caught you Yeah, it's pretty stupid to lie times. about, well, I got this knee injury. Yeah. Like, Shani, why? Shani, you lie about all kinds of shit. How are we supposed to fucking know why you're doing it? We just know that you do. You get caught in the lies over and over and over and over again. So, don't get up here and act like we're dumb. Bitch, you're the one that gets caught in the lies all the time. Maybe get, become a better liar. I don't know. And it's clear. It's not. It's clear it's injured. Now. It's all out of place. Your knee's fucked. And it's been that way for you since then. Why would you lie about that? Why is she looking at him like that? She looks terrified or something. Like, what's going on? Did he think, did she think he was about to start yelling at her? Watch, watch her reaction and how she's looking at him. She looks like worried. Where, why? And it's clear, it's not, it's clear it's injured. Now. Like, look at her. She's looking up at him like, uh oh. I don't know what that face is. Maybe he, she's lying to him too. It's all out of place. Your knees fucked, and it's been that way for you since then. Why would you lie about that? But keep up with your stupid conspiracy theories about me, and always say that I'm lying. You're the one who's lying. And making false act. Where's evidence of that? Who's lying? Who is lying? And where's the proof that they're lying? Because we have proof you're lying. Where's yours? Back up what you're saying. I mean, if it's true, then undoubtedly you have proof of it. Yeah, I bet we'll never see that. Accusations. It looks like Jason wants to say something to y'all. What? No, I mean, you said it. It's fucking stupid. Um, somebody asked me if it was... Where did it go? Are you on cable or fiber? You know what? I'm not 100% sure. I think fiber. We're on the best that you can fucking get. And supposed to be the fastest and supposed to be whatever. Um, but yeah, constantly, you know, basically like, am I, why is it, am I cutting out now or like, is it buffering and stuff? Um, because that's, what's weird. I feel like it's something to do with like the line or, you know what I mean? Like water getting in the line or something happening like that, because it's not like cutting out completely, but it's like going off and on and dropping and act, it's just really weird, but not like not working all together. So it's like, what is going on there? I think something got damaged somewhere or something and they need to fix it. So yeah, I sound good now. Good. Maybe it'll last for a little bit. Look, think about it. A year is a pretty long time, right? Things can happen in a year. Is it possible that Shani, back in whatever year, year it was when she was 17? 2001. In 2001. That's right after 9-11. Well, no. No, it was before 9-11. You were going in before 9-11. A lot has happened in what can happen in one year. I went in the Navy. 
in March yeah. of 2001. I got out the Navy April of 2001. Wait, 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 wait. What? I thought you claimed that you went to high school and have a high school diploma. Now, are you making me believe, you want me to believe, you graduated high school early? Oh, she didn't even last a month, Little Miss Stubborn. In the military, she didn't even make it past uh, basic training. She made it like a week or two, and that was it. Um, But that just doesn't make the time because she's the same age as me and i graduated in 2001 that should have been when she graduated as well but she's claiming that she went into the military and all this when she was 17 but she wouldn't have would she she would just barely have been 17 like it's i'm not sure that these dates and stuff are lining up is my point i my knee got destroyed in july of 2001 and then there was september 11th that happened in 2001 i also fucked a few people in 2001 shanny nobody needed to fucking know that specifically probably your your boyfriend that you just fucking embarrassed god you're nasty 2001 and then there was September 11th that happened in 2001. I also fucked a few people in 2001. Whatever. Too, you need to get so deep in my fucking business. Well, that's what they want. They want you to say stuff like that. It's parasocial psychosis. They're insane. I know, right? Maybe I just came up with the term. It's parasocial psychosis. You guys are ridiculously out of your mind. We you are. You know nothing about her. We are. We're out of our minds. And exactly how. How are we out of our mind? You're the ones that keep on coming on here making the same fucking mistakes over and over and over again. <sighs> what a joke. And you think you know everything about her because you watch fucking react. No. Yeah, people watch reaction channels, which cover your stuff your content what you say and do that's not on us that's on you if you act like a fucking maniac and a douchebag we're gonna show it that doesn't mean it's our fault that you're a fucking douchebag you're just a douchebag parasocial psychosis you guys are ridiculously out of your mind you know nothing about her, and you think you know everything about her because you watch fucking reaction channels. And Michelle is a wonderful person, and I, she, she says, gosh, people focus way too much on your lies. They should focus on their own life and leave you two alone. Yes, thank you. And we would be millionaires now tenfold if we were left alone. That's the truth. We were swatted in Colorado and harassed horribly, and now our lives are destroyed by these psycho parasocials freaks no you destroyed your life the two of you destroyed your life no one else no one else you are a fucking adult when are you going to start taking responsibility for where you are in your life there's always some excuse you always point the finger, finger at someone else, you and Shani both. And you never look inward. You never take one fucking single ounce of responsibility for your life being in the fucking shithole. And that's why you're never going to get out of it. You'll never get out. And I don't feel bad for you. Sorry. Go, that's no, it. you can you can continue on and end. No, it. I I have to I have to go. So I, I, hey, I'm with you. That's it. You guys, you just you just prove your disgustingness 
every fucking day. You have to repent to Jesus Christ because you're not getting into the kingdom of God with that behavior. Say if you're saying a Christian. And you're not going to get in with your behavior. So stop condemning me. And stop speaking for God. God will handle that. He doesn't need you to come and fucking lecture what he's going to do and not do. Especially not you when you don't follow what the Bible teaches anyway. Who the fuck are you that you're going to come and lecture and judge other people and their relationships with God? If you're a Christian, I'm so sorry. People are so f uh, far up your booty. Their feet are dangling out of your butt. Yeah, Ew. that's right, Michelle. We've been dealing. She's dealt with this for uh, 12 years, uh, yeah. 13 years. Yeah. Actually, she's been in this shit 13 years. What happened, Katie? Another moron. How could Shani have gone into the a try got into the Navy at 17 if she had a knee injury? Because the knee injury take took place after she was kicked out of the fucking military. <laughs> out of the Navy. She was kicked out yeah, of the Navy. Yeah, they don't take people with borderline personality disorder. Yeah. So that's the explanation. There's, there's no way. Why do you think a woman I just crashed. Okay. Why do you think a woman would lie about her own fucking life? I know why, because you want to make the narrative that the only reason that Shani is in this position is because she's lazy and she's lying about all of her health conditions. That's what you want to make it. I'm telling you as her fucking husband, that's not the case. They don't want to be labeled. As well, I don't believe you. I know that you would lie for her. And I think that you have an incentive to lie about these things too, because it also benefits you as well for people to believe the shit that she's saying. If you think you, of all people, who will literally let her talk you into fucking hacking off all your fucking hair and shit, we're supposed to believe that you would, like, stand up against her and, and actually tell us the truth if it was different than what she was saying? Bullshit. You would never. And I don't know if that's out of fear of what she would do or you're that just, you're that fucking codependent and delusional. But you would 100% lie for her. A hundred fucking percent. As ableist by people who actually care. Yeah, they don't want to be seen as that. So they have to make bullshit up to try to prove their bullshit narratives that are bullshit lives. I just asked the people who are sane in their heads, why would strangers on the internet know more about someone's life than you, than the person who's living said life? It's not that they know more. Obviously they don't know more than you. The problem with it is you lie. No one can trust a single thing that comes out of your mouth. That's why. Yeah. There you and go. And if you, if you can't seem to discern that, you need to go through therapy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, if we can't turn around and blindly fucking believe everything that you say, we need to go to therapy. Fuck you. Don't try to talk to us and act like we're fucking crazy for questioning you. Someone who literally lies all the fucking time. Parasocial behavior should be considered really dangerous mental illness and, and ha have to have the person be in. If it's dangerous and you're in fear, then you wouldn't be getting on here and you definitely wouldn't get on here and start poking at the reaction channels then, which is what you guys love to do. If you thought you were in danger, you wouldn't fucking do that shit. Therapy. Because you're ruining other people's lives with what you do. Due to your own perceived paranoia of How? people lying about their lives. 
Yeah, Michelle's on the same page as you. But the majority of people, the, the reaction channels are lying just to get your fucking pennies. Yeah. And you're well, you can't blame me for that anymore. As you guys love to make a joke of, Carrie's demonetized channel. Oh, that's so funny. Let me pin the comment. It's hilarious. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm not getting any money out of this. So now what? So now why am I doing it? If it's all about money, then I should be just calling it quits, right? Mm -hmm. Too stupid to think that. That's true. It is about super chats and shit. Oh, is it? it? And, and you, but the, you, why would you give money to people that are just lying every day? For, for no why reason. are you going to support idiots that lie about people that don't even know them? Yeah. You're dumb. If you're going to listen to people about other people that they don't know, you're fucking dumb. Well, I would believe a fucking stranger that I didn't know way before I would believe either one of you. At least then I would know there's a chance the person's telling the truth. A chance. I don't believe a fucking thing either one of you say, and I never will. Not even a court would take you seriously in what you have to say. That's called third party information. That's yeah, hearsay. And it's it hearsay. is. Do you think. You're listening to hearsay and you're saying, oh, that has to be the truth. Do you realize how much. Okay, you got hearsay. Dragnot. How much was he involved in Shani's life with all the shit he was talking about? I talked to him five times in my life. In her life, five times. For maybe, what, ten minutes apiece? Not even. Not even. Right? And? This doesn't make any sense, does it? He, he doesn't have to personally know you. You put your business out there. You stream your life. That's how he, everyone knows. And that it's just another example of something that you don't want to take responsibility for. You, when when your when your behavior and thing things get used against you and you get called out, this is what you always say. It's never your fault. Always the the reaction channels. Always the trolls. He considers it, people consider him an expert on my life. Hey, Deanne, the, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. What's up? Yeah, you're. Um, well, come on. I don't know for sure. All they would tell me is it's free reused content. And from what I've uh, looked into it, most people seem to think that it is from the smules that I used to play. Like I, you know, play those one, those uh, karaoke videos of theirs or whatever. I don't know if I believe that it's those because it seems like, well, why would they have, why would they wait a year and a half to tell me that that's not okay to do? Um, but uh, the other thing a lot of people bring up is the police videos. I don't know. I feel like that's, I'm, I'm not sure about that either, just because it, if it's fair use, it's fair use. Like there, there is no like, oh, well, these people care more about their video or these people pay more for their video. So they're going to do this. Well, but if it's fair use, it's fair use. And there's nothing that anyone can do. But anyway, um, so, or, or obviously it could be of the rest of the show channel entire channel, reaction channel already people
good so far. Hold on. Let me see. Is it just cut cutting in and out or you don't hear me at all? You can't hear me? All right, let's just try to get through this video. I'm going to shut up. I want to get this through this video for you guys, okay? You're venting. It's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Michelle's like, I'm here for you, vent. Like, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, the reaction channel should be taken down for slander. That's absolutely true. And yeah. we, we tried to fight... We tried to fight that battle for so long, and we were just continually banned. They banned every one of our channels every time. Shannon, I wish I could have a lawyer so I could sue the fuck out of Google. Defamation. They did nothing about no, it. No, they did nothing for the defamation. They did nothing to protect you. Thank you for the hearts. And they do nothing to protect Foodie Beauty. They do nothing to protect in Berlin. Reed I don't agree. Or any other person that they try to target. I don't agree with that because they allowed Amber Lynn and, and Foodie Beauty to have their channel still. There's no reason that you were banned. I didn't do anything wrong. There's no reason that you would be banned on that platform. You never did anything that was outside terms of service. Nothing. Nope. Oh, you said you'd kill your... Do you realize on channels like FGTV and stuff that they say stuff like that every fucking day? And Do you they know how many parents have... That doesn't make it okay. That does not make it okay. You've never, your parents never got mad at you and be like, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, oh, you said that, you're canceled. Yeah, they don't mean it. It just means they're really mad at you. Or if you're a kid, you never said, mom and dad is gonna kill me if they know about this. <laughs> yeah. Dumb, 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 brain dead, dumb. It, uh, does, it doesn't make sense. The ignorance is dumb. None of it makes sense, and, and there's no protection for people. It's just that if you have a slander crew that's big enough, that, that's dedicated to call cops and stuff, you're done. It's over, and it shouldn't be that way. And they'll way. take your children away, too. They'll take your kids, too, yeah. They'll force you to put your kids in fear. What? protected from you and don't ever get it twisted hey i gotta get going so yeah we got to yeah so that's you guys gotta stop the bullshit behavior it's so it doesn't do anything you you think you're just getting in people's heads and fucking with people yeah you're fucking with people it's abhorrent it's obnoxious and it's completely ableist and goes against people's rights to be protected citizens. Okay. Thank you. Michelle. I think that's why they want to take the disability thing from me. So they can't say I'm a protected class. That's why they say I don't have borderline personality disorder. Because they're trying to say that I'm lying about all this stuff Jesus about Christ. my life. Do you want to keep so, talking? So they can't. Sorry. I so go. they can't garner sympathy, and I'm really tired of it. That that they're 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 looked at as these truth tellers. I, I, one minute. Jesus God, man! I think we said everything. Go while, ahead. while they they say that they're these truth tellers and they know nothing about someone's life or what's happening in their life. But I'm going to go, I'm like very agitated by this, about this stuff constantly happening where I feel like I have to defend myself because I, I know how manipulative these fuckers are. And they like to manipulate what goes on with my life and what's happening to me where I'm lying about everything I'm going through. But at the same time, they're like, she's overweight and she looks really bad and sick. But yet I'm not sick. Yeah. Screw them. Fuck that. Screw them. Screw them. I have no sympathy for people that do this. No sympathy. it messes with your head. It, it does. does. It fucks with it you. It does, man mentally mess with you 
and I, I'm done with it. I'm done with it with constantly having myself questioned on what I'm like. It's mentally abusive what you're doing to a mentally ill person. So screw you for being mentally abusive toward a mentally ill person. Yep. Period. I don't care if you're like, well, it's Shani. I'm mentally ill and I'm disabled. And you're picking on me and you're bullying me. Protect me. How about learn how to be a better person? Hobby. You're the idiots. You're the gullible. Shit about what's going on in my life. Uh, we're so close to the end. Can you hear me? Let me go back a little bit. Um, see if it comes back. Can you hear me? Are you able to hear me or is that gone too? You can hear? All right. What about the screen? You can't see anything? Um, we're right at the end. Okay. okay. Video isn't playing or, um, is because you annoy us. You, you, I know. So you need to these that know about what can you hear me so you can um Yeah, you can hear it. Okay. Yeah. I'm in the guys. So